Hey everyone, welcome back to Simpit Academy. Before we get started on the next panel, I have some good news. So last time when I demonstrated this panel, the takeoff trim light wasn't working. When you press on it, the light indicator doesn't light up. So this was the old code which did not work and then the github team that um, supports TCS BIOS now that um, SciTech has been bought over by Logitech and their flight panels uh, can be used for DCS and they are providing the support after the, the fork but they, the various people that I discuss on github they just have no interest in going into DCS of any module and they use board and some other debug debugging tool to test and when that debugging tool works they insist that it works and they kept saying that I'm doing something wrong with my setup so this second line this code here doesn't even compile in Arduino you'll get an error so if it cannot compile it cannot load into DCS so the latest one that I got from board it's this instead of BA now it becomes AE and it works this kind of new convention that they have changed for LEDs everywhere they just don't work so you have to still stick to this kind of old format um, just change some characters and now it works so I will demonstrate that. Y'all rake. Y'all rake. Y'all rake. Y'all rake. Okay, more good news. The last time I demonstrated this RICP panel, this volume knob wasn't working. The crypto knob, the crypto switch wasn't working well it is still not working in DCS is frozen even using the mouse click it this cannot move and then this one wasn't working and all these three were not working so now the bottom three switches are all working and this two actually had um, the code reversed the original code was I probably a typo from them so you reverse them and now this is the correct code and now this one works okay and this one doesn't work and the volume the weapon volume knob works so now all six of these encoders work all right so let's take a look at um, the whole thing in action so everything will work I'll skip this because this doesn't work. Alright, finally we have uh, finished looking at the left console and it's about time to move on to another console. So the right side is pretty simple, a lot less panels. So today we are going to look at this ECS and air conditioning panel. Both are very simple. Everything here has been done before. Buttons and light indicators and flat toggles, big toggles, small toggles. And this one, the what I call the curve bar knob has been shown how to be built in a previous video. So today we'll just build this new knob and that's about it. 
all right starting with the ECS panel light indicator button two big toggles one small toggle a flat toggle which is shown here FT3 all right dimensions as shown so these are the switches that you need small one two big ones a flat one a light button and then as usual create recesses create locking holes especially for the big toggles these two here okay this is the DCS BIOS code very straightforward just copy and paste change the pin numbers to yours and compile in Arduino upload this is how it looks like when it's completed this one is exactly the same as the one in the ground panel ground power panel alright the air condition panel two toggles oh actually this should be a T3 and then a potential meter and a rotary switch okay so the actual one it's 360 degrees mine I'm using 30 degrees rotation so they are all bunched up together like this so types of switches use just three types the panel recesses This one has the, the top recess too. So this was covered before. This one will cover today, but it's very similar to the one in the sensor panel. All right. Start with padding this, and then. Um, doing a fillet, draw this shape, raise it up and do a datum plane. Somebody pointed out to me that actually this is not required, I just have to build a sketch um, in the XZ position. Um, I'm going to try that in the future. So I'm just trying to show this according to this slides that I've prepared. So move it out, draw this shape, move it back and park it symmetric to the plane it will go both ways pocket both ways and then you get this all right and the arrow as usual and the hole at the bottom as usual right fillet whatever edges you want don't always fillet the base first before you build everything else else you have problem doing the fillet later when it's done Alright, Arduino board, toggles, parts, rotary switch, this is how you do it. There's been many examples in the first two videos, so you can refer to that as well. And here you see the 90 degrees rotation and mine 30 degrees. Okay, everything else is standard and the code is as shown here this is the completed panel very simple build all right we'll take a look in FreeCAD how to build the last uh, knob what I call the slant knob and then we'll demonstrate the two panels in action okay as usual new body sketch xy plane let's do this here 25 diameter pad 2.5 make sure this is diameter 
25 close pet 2.5 fillet 1 and draw this shape Start with the rectangle <coughs> 12 white 17. Okay, this is 17 and this is 12. As always, you want to center. This thing here, we can just do this. Um, okay, this symbol shows that it's horizontal, so join, join, and make sure this is centered too. And this is six. Right, so this line it doesn't have to be precise like how high it goes. When you're using the knob, you're not really gonna care. So you want to remove this line. Okay, and this one you can let it protrude out a little bit. Depends on how much you want. Oh, okay. When you see this, it's gonna be a problem. So you want to trim this okay this two should be parallel so if they are not joining join them Okay, close and pet fifteen point five. Datum plane. This is like the third time I think we are doing this. So click at the top, click this, choose ninety. All right, then you can go back in here, move it out. Should be the X. Okay, now. create a sketch on the datum plane and we just want to cut from the top to here so this line all the way down here so just do this and then something outside Move this back. The sketch follows and pocket symmetric. Oh, I didn't select the sketch first. Pocket symmetric. 
and you see as you increase everything gets cut all right so the rest is simple do the arrow and pad and have a hole and pocket and fillet and you're done